she was related to the martyr Saint Sadara. She educated her younger siblings, one of whom was Saint Ambrose. Today's curiosity is about Saint Marcelina. Here are 11 facts about her. 11. Noble Family. Saint Marcelina, a figure of great importance in the history of the Church, was born into one of the most prominent families of Roman high nobility in the 4th century. She was the eldest daughter of Aurelius Ambrose, a respected prefect of Gaul. This position indicated not only a role of prestige and influence in the administration of the Roman Empire but also a life of comfort and access to resources that were rarely available to most people at that time. The Ambrose family was known for its wealth and position in the social elite, which provided Marcelina with a refined education and a culturally enriching environment. Her father's social status meant that Marcelina grew up surrounded by important figures of the time, with access to discussions and events of significant political and religious importance. This high social position was not an obstacle to Marcelina's spiritual development. On the contrary, she used her position to deepen her faith and positively influence the lives around her. The education and experiences she had from an early age were crucial in shaping her character and dedication to the service of God, despite the expectations of her social class that often favored the pursuit of power and prestige. The influence of Marcelina's family on Roman society and the church was significant, laying the groundwork for her future sanctity and the lasting impact she would have through her siblings and the institutions she would help inspire. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe so you don't miss any curiosities about the saints. 10. Education and Influences Saint Marcelina was raised in an environment filled with affection and solid instruction in the Christian faith. From an early age, she was immersed in an atmosphere that valued not only secular education but also spiritual and moral formation. Her home was a center for activities and meetings with distinguished people, reflecting the social and cultural importance of her family. One of the key factors that shaped Marcelina's spiritual life was the long-standing friendship between her family and the Savella family, which included the future Pope Liberius. This connection not only provided Marcelina with access to influential church figures but also helped deepen her understanding and devotion to the Christian faith. The presence of Liberius and other notable visitors in her home offered Marcelina a unique perspective on Christian life and the role of the church in society. The interaction with these influential figures had a significant impact on her formation. Marcelina heard about the challenges and triumphs of the early Christian martyrs, stories that nourished her faith and desire to follow a path of holiness. The environment of her home, filled with spiritual discussions and religious guidance, helped cultivate her deep life of prayer and study of the scriptures. Moreover, contact with high-ranking people in the church and society broadened her worldview and faith, encouraging her to adopt a life of virtue and religious commitment. This support and guidance were crucial for the development of her vocation, preparing her to be a spiritual leader and an example of Christian dedication to others. 9. Consecration to God. At the age of 25, in 353 AD, Saint Marcelina made a crucial and significant decision in her life by consecrating herself entirely to God. This significant moment took place at the Roman Basilica of Saint Peter during the Feast of the Epiphany of the Lord. The consecration ceremony was presided over by Pope Liberius, an event of great importance both for Marcelina and for the Church at the time. By making this vow of chastity, Marcelina not only reaffirmed her commitment to spiritual life but also demonstrated her absolute dedication to divine service. Her decision to consecrate herself to God was a reflection of her deep faith and conviction, as well as an expression of her desire to live a life entirely devoted to spirituality and service to others. Marcelina's vow of chastity symbolized her desire to offer her entire life to God, without reservation. This act of surrender was inspired by her belief in the superiority of spiritual life over earthly possessions and the pursuit of status. Marcelina chose to dedicate her efforts to prayer, studying the scriptures, and helping the needy, rather than following the conventional path of marriage and starting a family. This moment also highlighted the crucial role of the church in validating and supporting religious vocations, with Pope Liberius recognizing the authenticity and importance of Marcelina's dedication. Leave your prayer request in the comments so that Saint Marcelina may intercede for it before God. 8. Dedicated to Service even with her privileged social position, 
Saint Marcelina made a bold and countercultural choice by deciding to remain single and dedicate her life to serving the needy and educating her siblings. At a time when social status and marriage were highly valued, Marcelina's decision to embrace a celibate life and commit to religious life highlighted her devotion and humility. Marcelina used her social position and resources to help the less fortunate, demonstrating a profound sense of social responsibility and charity. She actively engaged in addressing the needs of the poor, sick, and vulnerable, offering shelter, food, and medical care. Her dedication to serving the needy not only reflected her compassion and Christian commitment but also challenged the social norms of the time, where many people of her social class were more concerned with status and wealth than with helping others. In addition to her charitable work, Marcelina also played a crucial role in the education of her siblings. After the death of their parents, she took on the responsibility of caring for and educating her younger siblings, Satyrus and Ambrose, who were still teenagers at the time. She ensured that they received a solid education, preparing them for their future responsibilities and important roles in society and the church. Her guidance and support were essential for the spiritual and intellectual development of her siblings, who later distinguished themselves in their own vocations. 7. Influence on Ambrose. Saint Marcelina played a crucial role in the spiritual formation of her brother, Saint Ambrose, who would go on to become one of the most renowned bishops and theologians of the church. Marcelina's influence on Ambrose was significant and profoundly shaped his spiritual and intellectual development. Marcelina took on the role of caretaker and mentor for Ambrose and his brother, Satyrus. After the premature death of their parents, she dedicated herself not only to maintaining the family's material well-being but also to the education and spiritual formation of her siblings. Her spiritual guidance and example of a devout life were crucial in developing Ambrose's faith and virtues. Ambrose, who would later become the Bishop of Milan and one of the leading theologians of the church, was deeply influenced by his sister's dedication and religious fervor. Marcelina instilled in Ambrose a solid foundation of faith and a deep respect for Christian principles. Her commitment to prayer, contemplation, and the study of scriptures inspired Ambrose to pursue a path of intense and committed spiritual life. When Ambrose assumed leadership as bishop, he often acknowledged his sister's formative influence in his writings and speeches. The admiration and respect Ambrose had for Marcelina were evident in his words and actions. He considered her a source of spiritual wisdom and a model of Christian virtue. Marcelina's influence extended not only to the spiritual aspect but also to the field of theological and pastoral thought. Marcelina's zeal for doctrine and her dedication to Christian life shaped Ambrose's ideas and practices, making him a fervent defender of Christian orthodoxy and an influential theologian of the Church. 6. Family Marked by Martyrdom Saint Marcelina was part of a family that had experienced martyrdom, a profound testimony to their faith and Christian courage. Among her most notable relatives was Saint Sodera, a Christian martyr whose life and suffering reflect the family's resistance and devotion to the principles of Christian faith. Saint Sodera, known for her devotion and firmness of belief, was martyred during the reign of Emperor Diocletian, a period marked by intense persecution against Christians. Diocletian, who ruled the Roman Empire from 284 to 305 AD, is remembered for his systematic efforts to eradicate Christianity, resulting in a series of brutal persecutions and executions of Christians throughout the empire. The inclusion of Saint Sodera in Marcelina's family lineage not only highlights the depth of the family's Christian commitment but also the continuity of faith and testimony in the face of adversity. Sodera's courage and dedication in facing martyrdom with unwavering faith served as a source of inspiration and an example to other family members. For Marcelina, proximity to a martyr like Sodera likely reinforced her own determination to live a life of devotion and service to God. Sodera's martyrdom experience not only underscored the reality of the difficulties faced by Christians during that period but also highlighted the resilience and faith that characterized Marcelina's family. 5. Community Work Saint Marcelina stood out not only for her life of prayer and devotion but also for her remarkable commitment to community service and charity. She organized a group of women dedicated to visiting the sick and providing aid to people in vulnerable situations, reflecting her deep spirit of service and compassion. 
Marcelina's initiative to form a group of women to help the needy was a concrete manifestation of her faith in action. At a time when Christian life often involved challenges and difficulties, especially during periods of crisis and persecution, Marcelina and her companions dedicated themselves to providing relief and support to those in greatest need. This community work not only addressed the material needs of the sick and the poor but also offered spiritual comfort and hope in times of suffering. Marcelina's group became a notable example of how Christian faith can translate into practical acts of love and care for others. These visits and assistance to the vulnerable were not merely acts of charity but a reflection of a deeper commitment to Christ's teachings, which emphasized the importance of loving and serving others. Marcelina's dedication to community service also influenced other women of the time, inspiring many to follow her example and engage in similar activities. This network of support and service became a powerful testament to the Christian faith's ability to bring about meaningful and positive changes in people's lives and communities. For Education of the Siblings Saint Marcelina played a crucial role in the formation and education of her siblings, Satyrus and Ambrose, profoundly influencing their life paths and contributions to the church and society. From an early age, Marcelina took on the responsibility of educating and guiding her siblings, providing them with a solid formation in both spiritual and intellectual aspects. Her role as a mentor was particularly significant, given that she lived in a high noble environment and was immersed in the complexities of public and ecclesiastical life. Satyrus, the older brother, was shaped by Marcelina's care and guidance. His Christian formation and values prepared him to excel in his public life. He became a notable governor of Milan, playing an important role in the administration of the city and contributing to the stability and prosperity of the region. Ambrose, the younger brother, also greatly benefited from Marcelina's guidance. His education and spiritual formation were profound, enabling him not only to excel as an influential governor of Milan but also to transition to an even more significant role as Bishop of Milan. Marcelina's influence was crucial in shaping Ambrose, who would become one of the Church's most respected theologians and leaders, known for his deep thought and pastoral leadership. Marcelina's dedication to the education of her siblings was not just an act of fraternal love but also a vital contribution to the Church and society. The formation she provided to Satyrus and Ambrose helped shape their abilities and prepared them to face the challenges of their respective positions with wisdom and integrity. 3. Posthumous Recognition Saint Marcelina, after her death on July 17, 397, received significant posthumous recognition that reflects the profound influence she had during her lifetime. Her burial in the Basilica of Saint Ambrose in Milan, one of the city's most important churches and one of the most venerated in Christian tradition, symbolizes the respect and reverence her life and work earned. The Basilica of Saint Ambrose, which was built in honor of Marcelina's brother, Saint Ambrose, Bishop of Milan, became a site of great spiritual and historical significance. The fact that Marcelina was buried there highlights not only her respected status within the Christian community but also the deep connection she maintained with her family and the church. In addition to her burial in such a significant location, Saint Marcelina's memory is celebrated with great devotion. Her life of service, charity, and dedication to the Christian faith continues to inspire many. She is remembered as an exemplary figure of virtue and devotion, and her feast day is celebrated annually on the day of her death, July 17. 2. Religious Legacy In the 19th century, Blessed Luigi Biragi founded the Sisters of St. Marcelina, a religious institute dedicated to the education of young women, inspired by St. Marcelina's example of holiness and devotion. This institute emerged as a reflection of Marcelina's enduring legacy and her commitment to spiritual and educational formation. Blessed Luigi Biragi, impressed by St. Marcelina's exemplary life, sought to create an institution that followed her principles of service, charity, and education. He founded the Sisters of St. Marcelina with the goal of continuing Marcelina's mission of promoting a comprehensive education that not only instructed academically but also formed young women in Christian faith and values of service to others. The Sisters of St. Marcelina have been dedicated over the years to providing quality education, respecting St. Marcelina's vision of a formation that combined spirituality and academic instruction. 
Their work includes a variety of activities, from schools and educational institutions to support and charity programs, always with the aim of forming young women who not only seek knowledge but also commit to a life of service and devotion. 1. Canonization. Saint Marcelina was canonized by Pope Paul V in 1613. Her canonization highlighted the importance of her life dedicated to the service of God and education. The ceremony officially recognized her position as a saint and acknowledged her exemplary role in the life of the Church, especially in relation to education and charity. We have reached the end of another story full of curiosities. Don't forget to leave in the comments which saints' curiosities you would like to see on the channel. And until the next story.